Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about how to read a scientific paper. What are things that you should keep in mind while reading a scientific paper and how you can learn a lot from reading scientific paper. So first step is to define what type of scientific paper that you are going to study. And also you will learn how to organize a paper actions that you need to take so that you can properly read a research paper and understand what is the content of the research paper, what you can learn from the research paper and what are difficulties in reading scientific paper and how you can overcome it. So there are different type of scientific papers, original articles. These are the information based on original research done in the field of science and technology. Case report usually is a single case study is done based on some theory, some practice or based on some research question. Technical notes. These are describes a specific technique or procedure which is used for any research work. Pictorial essay is a form of research where teaching article with images is done. Review Reviews is a detailed analysis of the recent research on a specific topic so that we can understand what is the ongoing research being done in that particular field. Commentary Commentary is an short article with author's personal opinion about a particular action, phenomena or a research. Editorial is often short review or critical of the original articles that come into the particular volume of the journal. Letter to editor is a short and on subject of interest to leaders and uh, this is usually provided by the feedback by the readers of the journal. So you can also refer to this effective medical writing by Pen WGS and NGKH Singapore Medical Journal where you can learn more about the types of different type of scientific papers. So what is the organization or the structure of a research paper? Research paper has typically five to six categorization or steps in a research paper like first of all will be title. Title is the brief. It should not be more than 20 word and it should summarize the essence of the research that is being done. It should be specific to the particular theme. Abstract is the summarization of the what has been done in the research paper like what methodology has been used, what were the major findings, what were the major concluding remarks of the author. In the introduction, we introduce about the subject matter of the research paper. What are the key concepts that is being used? What are the theories or methods which will be used in the research? Methods defines what are the tools and techniques that has been used in the research paper for conducting the research, for presenting the research output and the results is the outcome of the research based on the tools and techniques based on the data collected from the field study. Discussion and conclusions. Sometimes results and discussions are clubbed together to make readers have a combined view of what was data, discussion of the data and how reader can flow the train of the logic of the research. And then comes the conclusion. Conclusion is the remarks that authors conclude based on his findings, his results. Sometimes some papers have a recommendation section also. After the conclusion, author might suggest what will be the recommended future research options, research tools or research gap which other researcher can work on. Then acknowledgement will be the section where author acknowledges what was the contribution of other participating authors or any institution who are supporting it. 
and the references references is the extensive bibliography of the all the references that has been used in your research article so this is the basic structure of any research paper i am already format introduction method results and discussion this is the basic structure of any research paper so introduction tells what was the question what was the research question or hypothesis which the author wanted to investigate and define in the research paper methods how did the author try to answer it using different tools and techniques different modeling and simulation techniques and results is what did the author find after using particular tools or technique based on the field research and discussion is what the result means and what the other scholars or researchers have told about the similar findings title title describes the key point of the research paper clearly with keywords of the database and its search engines so abstract summarizes the problem the method the results and conclusions and it should not be more than 150 to 200 words to help readers decide whether or not to read the whole article so readers should understand what is the broad area of the research or a specific area of the research problem that your research paper is going to answer and in introduction we state clearly the problem being investigated in reasons for the research it summarizes relevant research to provide context identifies the questions being answered briefly describe the experiment hypothesis research question general experimental design and methods sometime also in introduction we define some key terms which might not be which might be confusing in the area like a smart city so many authors have defined a smart city in a different manners we sometime introduce some concept like a smart sustainable city so the we need to define what do you mean by this particular concept so in introduction we have to do all this methods methods provide the reader enough detail so that they can understand and replicate the research they understand what is the tools or technique which has been used in the research paper explain how the problem was studied systematic method should be provided in the methods identify the procedures to be followed whether it was in controlled environmental or whether it was for a particular specific parameters that was only studied explain new methodology in detail includes the frequency of the observation what type of the data were recorded and other details and in the result section we present what was the funding and explain what was found why it is significant what these findings mean so how the new results are contributing to the study of scientific knowledge how our research is going to benefit the society follow a logical sequence based on the tables figures presenting the findings to answer the question or hypothesis that we had identified during the introduction of the research discussion or conclusions describes what the result mean regarding what was already done about the subject and what is the new findings that this research has provided to the research question and indicate how the result relate to the expectations and what is the deviation or conformity with the research already done in the particular field explain how the research has moved the study of the scientific knowledge forward or contributed to the enhancement of the knowledge base of that particular area outlines the next step for the further study so they can also give some way forward for other researchers so that they can do further research in the particular field acknowledgement section recognizes various contributions of other workers 
or co-authors contributing to the research paper. References list all the sources of previously published work which has been referenced in the research work, include information not from the experiment at non-common knowledge but it should be specific to the research being presented in the research paper. Action to take. What readers should take actions? So skim the article without taking note. First of all, this should be done so that you can understand whether the article is relevant for you to read or not. In the abstract, it will tell you the major findings of the article and why they matter and why you should read this full research paper. Read first the big picture first. What are the major headings? What are the major subheadings? What is the major tables or figures which is showing there? Note any term or technique you need to define. If they have given some particular technique, so under, try to understand what is their technique. Zot down any question or part you do not understand. If you are unfamiliar with any of the key concepts in the article, try to look for them in other textbook internet or try to understand from other expert of your field. Then read the article more carefully paying close attention to the methods and materials, results and conclusion section because this is the major area where you will find what is new being done in the particular field of the study. Ask yourself questions about the study such as what problem does the study address? Why it is important? Is the method good? Are the findings supported by evidence? Are they unique and supported by other work in the field? Have the author cited other works being done in the similar field? Is the study repeatable? Can we repeat the same experiment in other context? What was the sample size? Is this representative of the larger population or was the sample size not representative? What variables were held constant? Was, was their control? What was the mechanism where the experiment was done? What factor might affect the outcome which the author might have not thought about? So think about this and then you will be in a better place to read and understand a research paper in much better way. Read the method materials and result sections multiple times. If you don't understand, then try to read it more than two times. Examine the graph tables and diagram carefully. Try to interpret the data first and then try to read the captions in detail so that you can understand whether you will be able to interpret the graph charts and table before you can read what the authors want to tell. Make sure you understand the article thoroughly, then you will be able to get benefit from the research paper. Write a summary of the article. Describe the article in your own word to distill the article down to its scientific essence. So what you all thought about what was the novel areas that is presented in the research paper. So jot down key points. Note the key points, the purpose of the study or question asked, assumptions taken, measure findings and conclusions presented by the author, question unanswered and any surprise or what was the research gap that is left for future study. So you can also refer to a scientific paper, scientific article review writing studio by Duke University Thompson writing program. Other useful hints can be to draw inferences or conclusion based on the basis of evidence and reasoning. Not everything in the article is stated explicitly. Rely on your prior knowledge and experience and the background of the article to draw inferences from the material. Distinguish between main points, document level, in title, abstract, and keyword. Paragraph level, look for word phrases like unexpected. Contrast to previous work, hypothesis that proposes, introduces, or data suggested. So then you will be able to get more out of a research paper. 
take note as you read. This provides recall and comprehension. You may think you will remember everything but details will escape away. So always try to make a note of the major points that you find when you read the research paper and sort it down. Can use the structured abstract format, abstract introduction, method, result, discussion and conclusion or references so that you can recall what was the key findings, what was the method used. So for more study, you can also refer to another article, how to read a scientific article by Rice University, Ken Project in Engineering and Professional Communication. So what are the difficulties in reading research papers? Sometimes papers are not written well. They are poorly written. Some scientists are poor writers. Others do not enjoy writing. Authors can be so familiar with the material that they cannot see if from the point of view of a reader who is not familiar with the topic and they might use many of the scientific words or they might not explain the key concept that is being used in the research paper. Sometimes bad writing has a consequences for the reader. Logical connections are often left out. Instead of saying why an experiment was done or what ideas were being tested, the experiment is simply described. Papers sometimes are cluttered with jargon that is word which are often used within a particular area of a study which common people don't understand, so such words are called jargon. Authors often do not provide a clear roadmap through the paper what was the sequence of the study done or presented in the paper. So such bad papers can make your reading experience not good. The reader can not easily understand what the experiment was. The description was not well written or it might be ambiguous, author refer back to previous paper, this refers in turn to previous paper in a long chain, this is unclear, best method we are used in the experiment, so such things should be avoided in the paper. Authors are uncritical about their experiment, if they firmly believe in a particular method, they may not be open minded about other possibilities. This may not be tested experimentally and may go unmentioned in the discussion. Authors do not clearly distinguish between facts and speculations, sometimes in discussion and conclusions, and this might lead to the confusion in the mind of readers. The sociology of science. Many authors are ambitious and wish to publish in trendy journals. They overstate the importance of their findings and put a speculation into the title in a way that make it sound like a well-established finding, but that might not be true. So readers should be more aware about how to read a good research paper, how to gain from it and such other things. Annotated journal, like if you annotate journals by Yeoman, he was a researcher, a scholar, so you can also refer to his art article. So author note why this is a written article. You can use boxes or arrows. Analyze each section of the articles like the title, abstract, introduction, method, result, discussion, acknowledgement, chart, references, everything you can analyze and learn. And for more learning, you can also refer to these additional sources and you can gain knowledge about how you can read a scientific paper and enhance your knowledge. Thank you, thank you for listening. Hope you liked the presentation and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends.